Welcome to the Colt Sauces, Father of the Walk, first of 2022. I wanted to show you my lettuce grow operation, and you'll notice that the, the glow of the lights is kind of a funny purple color. That's because they're plant lights. Anyway, these I planted before Thanksgiving, and this is arugula. This is kale, and there's some Swiss chard. It's little. I just harvested about two days ago. So you can see some bigger chard here. I didn't harvest that one as much. And I'm getting, I'm now able to get two cuttings off this a week. And I think it'll go on for about another week or two. Down here, on Sunday a week ago, I started seedlings. And these are they. So you can see it's just a little taller than my finger. And I transplanted them into this Kratky bucket. The Kratky hydroponic growing method is basically there's water in here. There's nutrient in here, there's an air gap for the roots of the plants so you don't have to circulate air and then you get these plants. We'll be upgrading this with a pump and a flow through system and some aerators long term. But this is where I say don't let the perfect get in the way of the good. I haven't had time or dedicated time to doing it so I decided I'm just going to get my old cracky system back up and running and this is where we're at. We're getting lettuce here. This usually by, so we're on week one. In two more weeks, I'll probably get my first cuttings from these six plants, and they'll be baby greens. And then down here, today is Wednesday. And this is how I germinate. What I have is a, a heat mat at this time of year. And if you look in there, you see little teeny plants. Yep, those are lettuce plants. And they've already germinated. You can see the ones on the left did better than the ones on the right. And we're only, I put these in on Monday, not Sunday, actually. And that means that they've germinated in just a few days. What I'll do is I'll take those out of the little stands they're in and put them in the standing water in this thing for the rest of the week. And by, by next Monday or Sunday, they'll be ready to transplant just like these were. And then I'll move this to the bottom shelf, which is full of stuff right now. And that will put the lights a little higher above them because right now the lights are about two inches above these plants so they don't get leggy. And then they'll have more room to grow. And these down here will be up there for a week or two. And then long term, bottom one goes to the top shelf for the really tall plants. And we just start the cycle again. Now if, if my plants get ahead of what I have here, the good news is I have more lights. And I have this empty shelf here and I can hang the lights over it and end up with two grow trays. So that's what we're doing right now. And that's, you know, I'll let you know how much lettuce it gives me. But right now, as I said, I'll get two cuttings off this a week. It's enough for about a salad for three people. And that's a great way to augment food for not very much money. Plus, it tastes really good when you freshly harvest something. I thought it would be kind of fun to have this as the thought, the first thought of the walk for 2022. A, because my word is courage for this year, and I'm having the courage to make time for the things I love, and B, because this gives me some food independence. I don't need to go to the store to buy lettuce at all, all winter long. These are going to be heads of lettuce. This is like arugula and other flavors to add to the lettuce, so when both these trays are hopping, I get a great mixed green. And it's something fresh in the winter, so it's not all canned goods, since we're living off what we grow here as much as we can. And that just helps me not need to go to the grocery store anymore. I basically don't need to go to the grocery store anymore. I've even cracked the cheese nut at this point. So we're just doing basic ingredients and paper good resupply, which is kind of cool. The system's really super simple to put in, not very expensive. I'll put some links in the show notes to the net cups and the grow plugs and the lights I'm using here, just so you know. And then this is just one of those normal utility shelves. If I had gotten a taller one, I could have a fifth shelf. That would be kind of cool for this system. Fits in my kitchen against this wall. And the only thing I would change about it, if I could change anything, is I would buy the white grow lights instead of the purple ones because the eerie purple grow glow is a little weird at night. But this is what I have, and I'm not going to buy something new if this is what I have. Make it a great week.